Hi guys, so this is the weekly market analysis for next week. So you can see that this is the DXY. Um, prices are bouncing off this support right now. So we expect a move upwards towards this immediate resistance before breaking down this potentially this level towards the 95.0 area. So firstly, we have pound USD. You can see that there's a trend line over here and there's a neckline resistance over here as well. So you can see that this area over here is a really nice confluence zone and we can actually take a shot upon a confirmation before moving price potentially towards this area which is the previous support and of course we will take some profits along the way. Next we have ECAT you can see that prices are moving towards the support zone again so we can actually make a buy over here however prices shouldn't make a lower low as compared to this zone and from there we can actually buy towards the next resistance level and what we can expect for the next trade could be potentially a breakdown of this level prices give us a retest before moving down towards this level potentially near the 1.7 next we have euro yen you can see that prices are retesting the trend line right now and we have a resistance zone over here or neckline structure so we go back to the lower time frame to look for a bearish price action and you can see that there is a doji over here and typically what aggressive traders will do is to actually fire a short position right now with their stop loss above this week and take profit at this zone however you can see that there is a rally for euro yen prices are moving really heavily upwards and we would like to see a slowdown in momentum so this is the price section that we have to look for a double top before moving towards this zone over here next up we have pound aussie you can see that there is an ascending trend line and a support structure over here. Prices are currently retesting this zone. What we'd like to see on a lower time frame would be a breakout of a descending trend line where prices have to violate this swing high as well. So we can expect a move upwards breaking this point and the previous swing high comes back for a retest making sure that it doesn't make a lower low forming a potential double bottom before having an entry over here with our take profit one on the previous neckline and TP2 would be this zone over here lastly this is the outlook for NCAT you can see that there is a descending trend line that has already been broken and previously we had a structure over here which has been broken as well so what we are looking for is a retest potentially towards this zone before making the next move towards the resistance zone over here so we have a buy entry over here stop loss below this week and take profit over here 